1961 Holiday Home Travel Trailer Sears reported that more than 70,000 of these homes were sold in North America between 1908 and 1940. 2. More than 370 different home designs in a wide range of architectural styles and sizes were offered over the program's 34-year history. Prices ranged from $340 to $2,890. I accidentally captured my bumper coming off when my brother was hitting a puddle. Florida seagull flies by just as the picture is taken. Interesting pineapple cutter at my local supermarket. Recently discovered ancient Egyptian city of Aten appears to have walls very similar to the Crinkle Crankle walls found in the UK. I'm always sad when my Hoyas lose their blooms but I made the best out of it. A bloodwood tree. When you cut it, it looks like it's bleeding. A tree's shadow stopped the snow underneath it from melting. Sunset and a dolphin. Water ice and Mars captured by the European Space Agency. Second inning of the Angels vs. A's game Saturday at Diablo Stadium in Tempe. Foul ball about to spray the area. Daniel Corden accidentally photographed a meteor while capturing an erupting volcano. A pilot with a snack. A close-up picture of a grasshopper I took in Spain, 2018. This amazing wave. I had no idea these warning labels were so intricate. Good to know. A tree and its doppelganger. Since everyone in this subreddit is posting about sandcastles, here's one that my friends built. shared my drink on family group to unexpectedly recreate the cup's picture. Walking on water. Chinese skyscraper in Guizhou province. With this 350-foot artificial waterfall, it is the tallest to come down the side of a building. An Indian professor who holds more than 145 academic degrees. There's frogs with a genetic mutation that causes their eyes to grow on the inside of their mouth. This picture I took the moment someone used flash. Just a moment before this duck flew against my window at full speed, no ducks were harmed. My dad took this picture at the exact moment my mom got chomped by an ostrich. Meet Jadav Paying, a man from India who started planting trees when he was 16 years old. He's now 56 and he's created 1360 acres of forest which is now home to 100 plus elephants, Bengal tigers, one-horned rhinos, and other species. One person can make a difference. This is an iceberg that has flipped over in Antarctica. 
this fuck you tree. I have no regrets smiley face. During New Year's Eve, I was taking a picture of my dad. But since fireworks are legal where I live, the neighbor's firework tipped over and shot at us. This is what I ended up capturing. The line that separates day and night is called the Terminator. It is also referred to as the gray line and the twilight zone. A wolf designed entirely out of pipe cleaners. Sandcastle made in extremely smooth fashion. I restored, enhanced, and colorized this 162-year-old portrait of a Civil War soldier, 1858. If 2020 wasn't weird enough look what I got. Wholesome Innovator Unexpected Bird He just wanted to be in the picture, too honeybee. Best sandcastle ever made. Most interesting goat, Shami. The world wastes about 1 billion metric tons of food each year. Dragonfly landing on the nose of a water snake. Postal worker cooks steak on truck dashboard to showcase inhumane working conditions during extreme heat. Two birds. A door for mice. Meteor shower. A pigeon today photobombed my picture with perfect timing for a perfect framing. I went to London before lockdown and I found this it was some kinda memorial for the London fire. Bonfire night. The way this millipede spirals for protection. A statue made out of trash that casts the shadows of three different famous statues at different angles. Got photobombed by a moorhen while trying to take a picture of a goosander. That's India for you. The tree of life in Claylock Beach. Within Olympic National Park in Washington. Called so because of the way it seems to be hanging on to life when it should have been dead years ago. It's a miracle that the tree is still breathing and thriving and every spring despite having no soil underneath. Every color of cardigan worn by Mr. Rogers and his show, in chronological order.